Men, have you reached a decision? Yes, yes, chef. yes chef. Patrick. Yes, Chef. First nominee and why? Our first nominee is Tavon. He was in charge of the hot appetizers, and the squab really set us off the wrong way, and he couldn't recover from those. Yeah, he got screwed by a pigeon. Second nominee and why? The second nominee uh, is Don. Don? Why? He didn't even cook. Not only did you put in a shit performance, but you came to a crap consensus. The two worst tonight, Tavon and Royce. And now you two can step forward. Let's go. Tavon, tell me, from an executive chef's point of view, why you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen? Hurry up. Um, I definitely knew that I was more of the reason that everything went down. And I took responsibility for everything that happened. What would you rate your performance this evening? Line, chef, sous chef? Probably a prep cook that got thrown onto the line. Well, that's way off my estimate. I would have said dishwasher on a fucking shit day. Royce, tell me why you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen. I showed you what I had in my signature dish. I didn't perform well tonight. I tried, I pushed, I tried, I really tried. And I just, I, 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 I felt I was already sabotaged. Sabotaged? Who sabotaged your section? I feel that the p people who we set up and... Who? who? Oh, I feel like Guy set up the station. Guy, did you sabotage Royce? Because he's under the impression you did. I don't know why he thinks I sabotaged him. I did forget the anchovies, uh, but I don't see a sabotage in that. I'm done with BS for the night. I want you to do something special to launch our 10th year. You turned it into a disaster. Both of you. Seriously, really disappointing. My decision is... Royce. Back in line. Tavon. Give me a jacket. Leave Hell's Kitchen. Good night. Being the first to be eliminated sucks, of course. Nobody wants to go home first, but I did what I did. I messed up. But now I'm looking forward to sit on my couch and see Royce as go the fuck home next week. Teens, have you reached a decision? Yes, yes chef. chef. Dana. Yes, Chef. First nominee and why, please? Our first nominee tonight is Barbie, because we feel she's not a team player, Chef. Second nominee. Our second nominee tonight, Chef, is Roshni. Roshni? Yes, Chef. Okay, so you think that these two are the worst chefs in your brigade? Yes, Chef. Thank you. Blue team, have you come to a consensus? Yes, yes chef. chef. Guy, first nominee and why, please? First nominee is Chris, based on performance on the fish station. Chris? Yes. And the second nominee is Royce, based on the performance on Garnet Station. Barbie, Roshni, Chris, Royce, step forward, please. Let's go. Unbelievable. Let's start off with Roshni. I'm a strong chef. I'm passionate. I don't know, chef, why I'm up here. What? We had to come up with two nominees, and that was the reason why. Dana, does this make sense? We could not come to a consensus on who else should be voted based on tonight's service. Really? Everybody on this team unanimously voted for Barbie as our first vote. Yes. Barbie. Yes, Chef. Tell me why you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen. I made some mistakes. I do not plan on making those same mistakes again. So who is the worst in the red team then? Robin and Kimmy, Chef. What did Kimmy do wrong tonight? Kimmy brings down morale. She does. At what? What? For Are you me? Kidding me? For me. Barbie is the one who lowers the morale on this team. Oh my God. Jesus. Royce, you're gaining every minute, every hour, every day, a bad reputation. Why do you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen? I have all the dedication and every and all the knowledge. And I've got to tell you to put mashed potatoes in the large pan to incorporate butter and cream. 
to make it a little bit sexy. I definitely don't think my performance tonight, though, warrants me being the worst chef on this team. I think the gentlemen behind you feel that way. That's why they nominated you. Chris, why do you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen? I think I should stay in Hell's Kitchen because I'm a strong cook. I have passion. I have desire to be here. No, seriously, chef. I fucked up tonight on the scallops. I did. I was frazzled. And I just got fucked up, and I was in quicksand. I just kept sneaking and sneaking and sneaking. I couldn't get okay. my head out of it. I'm deeply sorry that a nonstick pan and three scallops frazzled your mind. OK. My decision is... Roshni. Royce. Back in line, both of you. Now I face a very difficult decision. Truthfully, you both should be going home. My decision is... Barbie. Back in line. Chris. Give me your jacket, please. If your mind is frazzled at this stage of the game, there's no way on earth you're going to Vegas, big boy. Yes, chef. Thank you. Good night. Time. I appreciate it. House Kitchen is brutal. It's tough. Chef Ramsay's intimidating, you know? And I just cracked under the pressure. Robin. Yes, chef. First nominee and why? Our first nominee is Brianna, because of the cod. It's what held us back. Second nominee and why? Barbie. When Barbie touched the scallops, she failed. They were raw. OK. Barbie, Brianna, step forward. Let's go. I suppose these choices are as good as any, but let's be honest. There's one more that deserves to be in the middle, right there. Roshni, get your ass over here. You, madam, were shocking tonight. I mean, really shocking. You're in way over your head, aren't you? No, chef. I cook with my heart. It's what I do. It's what I love doing. Today, yes, I did screw up. I fessed up to it. But I'm here, chef, and I want you to see what I have. Brian. Why do you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen, truthfully? Truthfully, I'm a team player. I know I'm a good cook. I know I can be here to the end. I screwed up the cod, but I'll learn from that mistake. You disappeared. I know I have fight in me, and I know I can do this. Yeah. Bravo. Barbie, you're like the appendix in your brigade that they all want out. You know, I've made some mistakes with my team chef, and everything that they've asked me to do, I've come across and tried to do. And I messed up on the scallops. I own it, but I was talking, and I was helping, and I tried to work hard for my team. I am a fighter, and I'm not going to stop. Tough one tonight. Really tough. My decision is... Brianna. Give me a jacket, please. Time to leave Hell's Kitchen. Damn. You're not getting stronger, and I need someone strong. Very strong. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Good night. I came here to Hell's Kitchen to challenge myself. I don't think Chef Ramsay really got to see what kind of chef I am. I'm a very passionate chef, but he didn't think that I was uh, enough of a fighter about it, and he's Probably right. Royce, first nominee, and why? Don. I mean, he was just deer in headlights a couple days in a row. Second nominee. Brian Chef. He uh, burnt a lot of fish tonight and really went down sailing. Christina, Red Team's first nominee, and why? Roshni, the meat just held us up. Second nominee, and why? Um. Um, um, excuse me? Uh, Danielle. 
Danielle, Roshni, Don, Brian, step forward, please. Let's go. Roshni, we've only had four services. You've been here three times. Yes, sir. Are you honestly over your head? I can't go home yet. I'm a fighter, I'm a team player, and I've got the passion, chef. Danielle. Yes, sir. Why do you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen? I haven't had any other problems besides communication. It's quite an important part. Yes, chef. Dom, why should you stay in Hell's Kitchen? Well, I think I have a lot to offer the team. Why does your team not believe in you? They want me to step up. They don't want you to step up. They want you to step out. They want you gone, Don. Brian, why should you stay in Hell's Kitchen? Chef, I'm a machine. You're a what? I'm a machine. A machine? Yes. I'm not looking for a fucking machine. Machines build cars. Chefs are individuals. OK. There's someone here whose head is just not in the game. My decision is... Done. Give me a jacket, big boy. Time to leave Hell's Kitchen. I just don't get it. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Chef. Good night. I do not get it. I thought that I would be able to come out here and, you know, that he would just love my food. And, you know, I thought I was more of a perfectionist, perfectionist um, than I was. Based on tonight's performance, I'm not done yet. I'm not going on like this. Danielle, back in line. Brian, back in line. Yes, Chef. Roshni, give me your jacket. Fuck. Let me tell you something really important. You're in the blue team. Get in there. Thank you, Rosh. Thank you, Chef. Roshni. Chef. Maybe a change in environment may make up change in your performance. Yes, chef. Then fuck off. <sighs> Mexican night, it was a massacre. Clemenza, first nominee, and why? First nominee was Pat. Just didn't think the communication was there. I think he broke down a little bit. Never. Second nominee, and why? Blue team nominated guy. He made a few mistakes. He put some things out wrong that kind of screwed us. Bobby, first nominee and why? The red team's first nominee tonight was me, Chef, because I was weeded on Hot App Station. Second nominee. Red team's second nominee tonight was Danny, Chef, because she served the raw pork and just couldn't seem to get herself together. OK, Guy, Patrick, Bobby, Danielle, step forward. Let's go. Patrick. Chef. Why do you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen? I've been consistent, professional. Tonight I made a poor decision on the chicken. It was the mistake I made tonight. I own up to that. But I never make the same mistake again. You're beat, aren't you? I am not beat, Chef. Nowhere near beat. Guy. Yes, Chef. Why should you stay in Hell's Kitchen? First of all, I've been solid so far about everything. I've never lowered my standards for nothing. And I'm definitely a fighter. Are you in over your head? No. Nah. I can look you in the eyes and tell you, I'm not over my head. Uh, Danielle, back again. Yes. Why do you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen? I put myself on the station that I've never worked because I want, I want to be here. I want to stand out. But yes, I messed up a pork job. And I'll probably never do that again. Bobby. Yes, Chef. Why do you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen? I don't feel like I deserve to be up here, Chef. I don't feel like I'm the weakest chef, so I don't feel like I deserve to be here. Do you know what? You're right. Back in line. This is tough, this one. My decision is... Patrick. 
back in line. Thank you, Chef. The person leaving Hell's Kitchen is... Danielle. Time to go. Give me your jacket, please. Thank you. Good night. Good night. I'm honestly, I'm pissed off. I don't deserve to go home. Kimmy and Barbie, they're sneaky. They're after themselves. They're fake. I would love to see Dana win. She's a strong cook, and I hope that she makes it to the end. What's wrong, Dana? I'm upset, Chef. You're upset nowhere near as much as I am. Tonight's performance was embarrassing. I've got one question for you all. Are you ready to fight back? Yes, yes Chef. I can't hear you. Yes, yes Chef. I still can't hear you. Yes, Chef. Sweet dreams. Now fuck off. Danielle was my best friend here, and she's gone. I feel devastated right now. I... Did you have a good discussion? Yes, Chef. Yes, Chef. Chef. Roshni. Chef. First nominee. The blue team decided the first nominee would be Clemenza. Why? Based on his uh, performance today with uh, the fish station that had the main hiccups of tonight's service. Second nominee. Second nominee. It was very difficult for us, Chef. Really? Some of the members of the team felt that it should be Brian. Because he was next to fish, he should have been able to help Clemenza out. Brian. Yes, Chef. Chef, others voted for Guy. Guy. Yes, Chef. So? Uh, Come on, then. Who is it? Just based on what held service back twice, the second nominee is Guy. OK, let's go. Clemenza, Guy, step forward, please. Chef. Guy. Yes, Chef. Here you are, standing in front of me, twice in a row. Why do you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen? I, I, I'm not done. I'm the least experienced one here, but I, I fight every day. I have enough fight for, for five people. Are you a better chef than Clemenza? Clemenza can cook, but I'm a better chef. Yes, Chef. Clemenza, why do you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen? I think I, I've been an asset to this team since the beginning. I, I've won some challenges. I was, my dish got on the menu tonight. Justin. Yes, Chef. Who should be going home tonight? I would have to say Clemenza, Chef. Royce, same question. You know, Chef Clemenza. Chef, I've always played 100%. And I, even tonight, I felt like I played 100%. Patrick, who should be going home? Tonight. I'm going to say Clemenza. Clemenza. Roshni. Clemenza, Chef. Clemenza. Yes, Chef. Brian. Clemenza, Chef. Chef, I've chased animals, I've dug trees, I gave it my all every single time that I've been in that kitchen. I've played 100%, and I have not once, not once have ever have I stopped and let my guard down once. I've tried to help everybody and do everything and be everywhere that I possibly can be, and I've always played 100%. And everybody's trying to fucking get rid of me. But you know what? I still put out better food than everybody standing there. Clemens, I want you to listen to me carefully. You've done well. You had a bad night. Are you done? I'm not even close to done, Chef. I'm ready. I'll go put out another dinner service right now if you need. Wow. Based on everything I've seen, witnessed, my decision is... Clemenza. Back in line. Yes! Ugh. Guy, your time is up, buddy. Give me your jacket, please. Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you for your hard work. I never thought that I'd be eliminated this early in the game. Chef Ramsey definitely made the wrong decision. I stand behind everything that I did, and I stand behind every dish that I put out there. I thought he would respect that. 
Apparently, it doesn't. Ladies, good job. Thank, Thank you, sir. Blue team, have you reached a decision? Yes, yes chef. chef. Good. Brian, first nominee and why? Uh, first nominee tonight is myself, chef. What? Yes, I was nominated, chef. Why were you nominated? It was pretty much put on me that the first ticket was what slowed us down, and that's it. That doesn't make any sense. Who's the second nominee and why? The second nominee was Clemenza, chef. What? I don't understand that. I mean, I'm just a stumbling block. Wasn't the appetizers. Why did Clemenza get nominated? I, I, I don't know. Do you guys take this serious? Brian and Clemenza do not deserve to be up here, let me tell you that. There's two nominees that deserve to be in the middle right there. Roshni, Patrick, get up here. Fish and meat. Patrick, why do you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen? I get these guys going, I keep them on focus, I keep them on point. I have made mistakes, there's no doubt, but I am nowhere near done. I have so much more to offer. It's not about what you say, it's how you perform. Yes, Chef. Roshni, why do you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen? Since I've come on the blue team, Chef, I have improved. The first night of service, myself and Brian finished service on our own. And I'm a team player. I'm honest, loyal, and dedicated. Today, yes, I screwed up, but I am here to stay, Chef. Tough one tonight. Justin, who should I send home? Roshni, Chef. Brian, who should I send home? Roshni, Chef. Royce. Patrick, Chef. Clemenza, who should I send home? I'd have to say, Roshni, have what I've seen in two days on our team. Two days I finished the service when you guys got kicked out. You're gonna tell me I deserve to go home? You guys all got kicked out of that kitchen. Myself and Brian finished that service. Okay. The person leaving Hell's Kitchen is... Roshni. Give me a jacket, please. The time is done in Hell's Kitchen. I know you have a lot of heart. Don't you stop that, OK? I won't. Head up high. Oh. Thank you. Love you, Rosh. Hi, Rosh. Thank you. I'm extremely disappointed. I'm not in Hell's Kitchen anymore. It's a competition, and I'm definitely not the weakest. I never got involved in the drama. I never got involved in all the bullshit. I was here for a purpose. I just don't think I got enough time to prove it. Steak night. Disaster night. I mean, really embarrassing. Clemenza, first nominee, and why? Gotta go with Patrick. Putting out raw meat. A couple of dishes came back. I, I mean, at this point in the game, it's inexcusable. Second nominee, and why? Second nominee was Royce. He got thrown out as well. I mean, it's just certain mistakes shouldn't be made. Red team. Kimmy, first nominee, and why? Our first nominee chef is Tiffany. Because of the appetizers, she got us off to a slow start. Second nominee, and why? Our second nominee chef is Robin because she pretty much lied to you and told you that she cooked the fish for three minutes and she cooked it for seven, so. What? I didn't lie to you, Chef, when I said I took the fish out at three minutes. The fish was cooked seven minutes prior, so I, miscommunication on what I said, but I did not lie to you. What? I know I've been true to myself about not lying because that's the way my mother raised me. Oh my God. Oh my God, Kimmy, please. I've been, you know what, Kimmy? If you really want to get dirty right now, we can get dirty. You think I'm scared of you? You call me a fucking bitch today and you want me to keep my mouth shut? Guess what? There's no friends in this competition because I want to work for him. Wow. 
Royce, Patrick, Tiffany, Robin, step forward, please. Royce, I'm running out of patience. Tell me what you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen. Chef, I got a lot of fight in me. I, I come through these doors every day with a lot of fight. I've been kicked, beaten, and stabbed. And I keep coming back for more, and that's what I'm gonna keep doing. I feel like I'm, uh, I'm getting better and better every day, and I feel like I'm twice the man every day I come in here. I'm not feeling it. Patrick. Yes, Chef. Why do you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen? I'm a professional chef. I bring all my passion and my commitment and my drive. There's no doubt I have some rust on me on the line. I'm fighting through that. I have the heart for this. I've worked my whole life for this opportunity. What have you got left that I haven't seen? I, I, can, I can cook. I can complete the service. I can command that kitchen, chef. I can do it. Every time my back's turned, I panic because I know you're not coming forward with the goods. Don't lose faith in me. I can do it. Tiffany. Yes, Chef. Do you care? Right now, I'm, I'm not done. It's just the cattiness sometimes on our team just sucks. You know what I mean? Barbie. Yes, Chef. You've been shaking your head. What the fuck's going on back there? Talk to me. I feel like Tiffany doesn't care about standards. She doesn't care about technique. She doesn't care about really? service. She doesn't care about professionalism, or she wouldn't have stood at the pass and turned to curse at me. Barbie, you gave she me attitude me. for twice tonight. You gave me attitude. You were like, uh-uh, I'm not ready. Don't bring those up. This is the cattiness I'm talking about. I don't deal with that. If you want my opinion, I think that Barbie's the weakest person in this kitchen because she can't run a station by herself. I don't want to hear your attitude or your eye rolling or your crap, honestly. She doesn't care, Chef. Do you care? I do care. How much on a scale of one to 10? I care a scale of one to 10, like a nine. Robin. Yeah, Chef. Why do you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen? I, I feel like I should stay in Hell's Kitchen because I have more fight in me. I have not given up. I, I'm here, but I want to be here. I do have standards, but I drop off my standards sometimes because I'm trying to save someone ass besides myself. Whose ass are you saving? Who is it? Tell me. I sometimes feel like I protect Kimmy. Is this true? Kimmy? Yes. No. Yes, Not it is often. true. Why are you lying? If you think you're saving my ass, you didn't really? save my ass in the ribeye competition, did you? Hey, I told you to send your ribeye. Don't turn around, Christina, because I oh, did. Really? Are you? You're, so now I'm you're in charge even, of I'm me too? I'm not even talking to you, oh, Christina. Go ahead, girl. I'm not talking Keep to you. Talk. This is the kind of shit that goes on, Chef. This is why I hate working on the red team. I prefer to be on the blue team. They're gonna kick your ass. No, they won't, because they respect me. Because I fucking come in here with 250 fucking percent. Oh my god, this is insane. You ladies were riding high, success after success, and look at the state of you now. Okay. My decision is... Tiffany and Royce, back in line. Come on, come on, care. Just shut. That's it. Just stop. The person leaving Hell's Kitchen. Patrick. Give me your jacket. Your time is done in Hell's Kitchen. Wow. It's not happening. And if it is, it's not fast enough. Thank you for the shout. Thank, Thank you. you. Good night. I had higher expectations going into this. My family's gonna be disappointed and a little sad for me, but opportunity comes along and you, you gotta grab onto it and try. It'll be great to go home though and see my wife and kids, I'll tell you that. Let me tell you something. Based on tonight's performance, I'm not done yet. Not on the back of a service like that. Robin. Give me your jacket. Yes, yeah, sir. Sure. You are leaving the red team. You're joining the blue team. Let's see how you perform now. And if you complain about the blue team the way you did about the red team, I'm going to be looking at you and you only. Yes, yeah, chef. Nine. 
Can I, Chef? Can I, yeah. Chef? Ladies, well done. Thank you, Chef. Robin. Yes, Chef. First nominee for the blue team, and why, please? Our first nominee was Royce. Royce. Royce, he let the team down. Second nominee, and why? The second nominee was Clemenza. Clemenza. Yes, Chef, because it is scallops. Royce, Clemenza, step forward. Royce. Yes, Chef. Why do you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen? I beat myself up for my mistakes, and I keep coming back. Who beat you up? No, no, I mean physically. I beat myself up for my mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> and I walk prouder every day in here and try to do better. And I keep trying to do better and get to that level of perfection that you yeah. want. I'm opening Gordon Ramsay Steak this year, yeah? Not in 2025. So, man, the state of you. You've got more fucking food on your jacket than you serve tonight on plates. Why do you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen? Chef, I've been on the top of almost every challenge. I, I can cook. I do have the passion. I do have the hunger for it. For some reason tonight, I just had a mind fuck on scallop. Big boy, I think you're done. No way, Chef. My decision is... Clemenza, Royce, both of you give me your jackets. Let's go, Royce. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Royce. Yes, Chef. Give me that jacket. Your time is done. Give my regards to Ralph. Get out of here. Of course I'm not okay with leaving. I know I'm better than everybody else. I came here driven, focused. I pushed myself. I don't think I deserve to be standing here. Clemenza, give me your jacket. You are really disappointing. I expected so much more. I know you did, Jeff. I'm bigger than that. You're a filthy mess. Get a clean fucking jacket on and get back in line. Yes, see. Yes, see. Come back. Clemenza. Yes, Chef. Try to stay fucking clean. I will, Chef. Just for one service. Yes, chef. You're like a pig rolling around in shit all day long. Well, yes, Chef. Cool. Brian. Yes, Chef. First nominee and why? First nominee is uh, Robin. She got hit pretty hard in the appetizers. Yeah, I'll say. What's so funny, Robin? Help me to understand. Because before service tonight, Chef, I asked for help. And Justin's response to me was, if I don't have too much meat to sear. What did you want me to do, Chef? I'm not going to spoon feed her. Excuse honestly, me for one second. I've, I've never had to deal with turmoil on this team the right. whole time. Now I have to deal with this, Chef. And honestly, I don't want to deal with this shit. I'm really embarrassed right now. I'm sorry, Chef. I'm embarrassed that we got thrown out tonight's I'm service. I'm embarrassed that you're speaking. still talking. That's a leader? Jesus. Brian, second nominee and why? Uh, second nominee is Clemenza tonight, Chef. Clemenza. Yes, Chef. He had a what? few hiccups on fish. Whoop the fucking deal. During prep today, he got his ass handed to him a few times. During prep? During prep? I'm sorry, I find that a little offensive for you to point the finger at me because you're saying something that's just wildly fucking bugged out to me. I had a dessert and I had two entrees. Okay. And the other two ideas were my ideas what on the, the fucking menu. What the hell is going on right now? Oh, blue team. God, it hurts. Oh, boy. Uh, Christina. Yes, Chef. Red team's first nominee and why? First nominee is Tiffany, Chef. Tiffany, why? We hit a couple bumps throughout the night, but we felt like we could have pushed through it. The all gratin yeah. was cooked through, and that's what, you know, basically made us stop. Second nominee and why? Um, second nominee was... Barbie. Barbie. It was based on prep today. We were working out a new menu and going from scratch. So her prep was shit, and that's why she's up for elimination. So Barbie, over Kimmy, right? Yes, Chef. Oh, dear. Tiffany, Barbie, Robin, Clemenza, step forward, please. Let's go. Tiffany. Yes, Chef. Why do you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen? I think that I'm a valuable team player to this team. Um, I have no problem going in the kitchen every day and helping my team members out. I love working with these girls. 
I really enjoy being here and I want to stay here and I know I fucked up on the potatoes tonight and it's a huge mistake and I feel so bad and I just want to prove to you that I can do it and I It's the passion to I have so much Where's passion the desire Chef. There is so much passion to But there has to be a natural hunger to stand out in the red team and right now you're not standing out Bobby Yes chef Why do you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen I think I should stay in Hell's Kitchen because I have been a team player they 100% want you out of here. They've wanted me out of here since I've been here, chef. And I still want to be here because the only person who matters to me is you. Clemenza. Yes, chef. You lied and you threw all of us under the bus, those last two tickets. I have the other sea bass right Where? here. Lying bastard, you fucking knew you hadn't got it. Chef, if you want to stand here and call me an idiot or stupid, I can no, accept no, that. But not an idiot, you? not stupid. I did you not, lied. I did not understand what you said. I would, I would not lie to you. I don't lie. It's not my character. You see, I say what it is to who it is for how it is. Why do you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen? Out, out of what went on tonight, I think I had the least of, of the problems on the team. Robin. Yes, Chef. Clearly, you're not a team player. I feel like I am a team player, Chef. And I'm sorry if you don't see that. I understand that I should be up here because I crash on apps, but I came through and I fought through and I try to fight harder. All it's not working in the red team and it hasn't worked in the blue team. One appetizer tonight, too cold, and you still went down. I feel like I have a lot of heart and a lot of passion and I don't want to go home yet. I'm not ready to go home yet. But There's I nowhere else I can put you. I feel like I'd be fine on the blue team. Whatever happens today is today. Tomorrow's a new day. I'm still going to come in and in the kitchen and work with them. Okay. The person leaving Hell's Kitchen is... <laughs> Tiffany. I'm sorry. I cannot see a leader in you. Please give me your jacket and leave Hell's Kitchen. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. I never thought I'd be kicked out of this competition this early. But Hell's Kitchen is harder than I thought it would ever be. <laughs> Wish I could have made it to the top two. <laughs> I tried my hardest. Chef Ramsey, I'm sorry that I didn't prove myself as a leader tonight, but I know that I am, and, you know, hopefully one day you'll see that. What a disappointment. On a night when we were doing simple southern cuisine, it all went south. Congratulations. Dana. Yes, Chef. Who is the Red Team's nominee? The Red Team's nominee is... Kimmy, Chef. Kimmy. Why? We couldn't move forward because the fish just halted everything. <sighs> Lucy. Justin. Yes, Chef. Who is it and why? Robin, Chef. She couldn't focus on the dish, and it was one raw chicken after the next raw chicken. It was just seemed like things were all over. Robin, Kimmy, step forward, please. Uh, Robin. Yes, Chef. Why should you stay in Hell's Kitchen? I'm not ready to go, Chef. I'm not ready to go. I lost focus because of the chicken. It fucked me tonight, Chef. The chicken didn't fuck you. You fucked the chicken. Kimmy, if there was one service, that I really thought you were gonna shine. It was tonight. What happened? The catfish, Chef, I just, I lost control of it. But this is the first time I've been up for elimination. I've been fighting, I'm here to fight, and I don't think I deserve to go home, Chef. And do you think you're better than Robin? Yes, Chef. I think I have more passion than her. I have more drive than her. I have more fight back than her. And I think I can cook better than her. And do you think you're better than Kimmy? Yes, I do, Chef. I'm letting my head fuck me up, Chef. This is a competition, not therapy. I know it's not therapy. I want to be your head chef. That's why I came here. I want to stay here so bad. I'm not ready to leave Hell's Kitchen yet, Chef. I'm not. It's a very difficult decision for me, let me tell you. And so far, the hardest one. The person leaving Hell's Kitchen is...
Robin. Back in line. Kimmy, give me your jacket. Young lady, you're not ready for Gordon Ramsay's day. I'm sorry. Big heart. Love the passion, but you are not ready. Thank you. <sighs> Love you guys. Love you, Kimmy. I'm disappointed in myself. It was not my time to go by any means. Definitely Barbie should be going home right now. But, you know, she's been up five or six times. This is the first time I've ever been up there. And I have so much fight and I've learned so much. And I thought I was going to the top. I thought I was going to be his head chef. And I guess I just didn't accomplish that. Commander. Yes, chef. Who was the blue team's first nominee and why? First nominee was Robin. Robin. Yes, chef. Why? We just based it on all four of us, who is the weakest link we felt during the whole competition. Second nominee and why? Um, was myself and, and Brian. We couldn't get past the two people. Hold on. One simple request. Come to a consensus. You came to a tie? Yes, yeah, chef. So you failed on dinner service, and you failed on the assignment now. So. I want all four of you to step forward. Unbelievable. One simple task, and we couldn't even agree on that. Robin, why do you think you deserve a black jacket? Because I have heart, passion, and I have drive, and I fight, fight, fight. Tonight was redemption, and I proved to you I deserve to wear that black jacket. <laughs> Brian. I deserve to be here, chef. I know it. In my heart, in my mind, and in my soul. I know what I'm capable of. And that black jacket is one thing I am capable of. I know that. Clemenza, why do you think you deserve a black jacket? I've been a team player. I've given you 100%. I've given you all I've got. I've made a lot of mistakes, and I've learned from them. I've fought through my mistakes. Justin. Chef, I think I deserve a black jacket because I've never been so focused in my life. I've pushed myself to levels that I've never had to go to before, and I fight every single day. <sighs> this is not easy. My decision is... Clemenza. Take off your jacket. Justin. Take off your jacket. Give it to me. Because you've got a black one. I don't give them out easy. Thank you, Chef. Thank you, Chef. These black jackets, not based on tonight's service. Let me tell you that. It's based on what you've done so far. Yes, Chef. Back in line. Thank, Thank you, you chef. chef. OK. Brian, Robin, both of you, take off your jackets. Let's go. I've got one jacket left. This, by far, is my most difficult decision. Robin. Yes, Chef. Your time in the Hell's Kitchen continues. Put that on. Oh, my God. Brian, thank you. End of the road, bud. Thank you, Chef. Thank you. All right, man. Get out of here, bud. Good luck, Brian. Bye, Brian. Good luck, Brian. I'm shocked that I'm going home. You know, with six people left, I thought that there was nowhere to go for me but up. I think I had a shot of winning. I really do. It's a terrible, terrible feeling to know that you got so close, but then just lost it at the end. Bobby. Yes, Chef. First nominee and why, please? The first nominee of the black team was Robin. Robin. Yes, Chef. Why? She was all over the place and accomplishing nothing. Second nominee. The team's second nominee was Clemenza, Chef. Clemenza. The team felt like Clemenza was responsible for Dana Scallops. Robin, Clemenza, step forward, please. Let's go. Move, Clemenza. Robin. Yes, Chef. Tell me why you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen. I deserve this black jacket. I deserve to be here. The first thing I said since day one is teamwork. Teamwork, teamwork, teamwork. There's no I in team. I don't know, Chef. 
I tried to help out tonight when it was needed. I felt like I had to throw elbows. I felt like I was in a basketball game, trying to, trying to get in there and try to help out. So who should be up here in place of you then? I feel like Dana didn't communicate and ask for help when she needed it. No, and I felt like I had a handle on my station. I was fine. Them being there wasn't helping me. It was making it worse. Clemenza, but is your time done? No, chef. My time is not done. I am not ready to go home. I am 110% ready to go and do anything you need to be done. How many times have you been up here, Clemenza? Too many, Chef. Yeah, how many? Three, four. I think tonight. It's your sixth time. OK, this is tough. My decision is... Clemenza. Back in line. Robin. Yes, Chef. The passion, the hunger's there, but you're not ready right now okay. to be head chef in Vegas. I respect you. Thank you. Give me your jacket. Thank you, Chef. Everything. Thank you. Keep going, will you? Of course. I thought that I was going to be the season 10 winner of Hell's Kitchen. And I fucking come in here with 250 fucking percent. I'm probably one of the only people in this competition that's won so many challenges. The only person who did well in the men's team was a woman. Thank you, Robin. I definitely have some memorable experiences here. Ladies, jump aboard your G4. And Raw. some experiences I like to forget. You call me a fucking bitch today, and you want me to keep my mouth shut? Coming here, I didn't realize it was going to be this caddy. Robin. Fucking hit me. Robin. Fucking hit me. Robin. Don't even fucking get me ghetto, Kimmy. What? There was 18 of us. I made it to the final six. Robin. Yes, chef. Put that up. You have not regret this decision, I swear to you. I'm a winner no matter what in my book. And now, leaving here is going to push me harder and harder to succeed and to show all those motherfuckers that are still here, go fuck yourself, because I am better than you. What a night. It's such a shame. You're supposed to be the unique talent. Right, I trust you've come to consensus. Chef, I don't think the team came to a final nomination, Chef. Does anyone have a pair of balls to tell the truth? I don't know either, Chef. Yeah. Go on, Dana. We were deliberating up until the very last moment. It's between Barbie and Clemenza. I want to hear from both of them. Clemenza, Barbie, step forward. Barbie. Yes, Chef. Why do you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen? I haven't lost my passion, Chef. You reminded me where the door is, and I want to stay on this side of the door, Chef. No callback. Lacking inspiration. No leadership qualities. And completely in the weeds. Nothing was correct on your station. I never gave up, Chef. You did give up. That was not me at my best, but I never gave up. Clemenza. Yes, Chef. Seventh time standing in front of me. For 50% of your performance in this competition, you've been standing there. Seven fucking times standing in front of me. Why do you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen? Because I have done some good, and I have done a lot of good. Tonight wasn't embarrassing me. Being the Italian night, believe you me, I wanted to shine. I, I, I wanted to do more. I, I, I did not quit one store in service. No matter what you said, no matter what was thrown out of me, I kept going and going and going. My question to both of you, why was there no synergy? I find it hard to trust Clemenza on the line. He is disorganized. He puts stuff everywhere. Oh. Whoop the fucking do. I told you on every risotto, it wasn't done right. Your answer to me was taken up there. I'm not ready to go home, and I'm not ready to give up. I'm not going to give up. Chef, I've been a team player. I battle through everything. I always give you 100%. Every time I come down, I am ready for battle. OK, the person leaving Hell's Kitchen. Clemenza. Sorry, big boy. Give me your jacket and leave Hell's Kitchen, please. Yes, Chef. I appreciate all your effort, but you are not ready pleasure. for Vegas. Love you, Clemenza. Love you, snack pack. Barbie, back in line. Yes, Chef. Later, guys. Hell's Kitchen, without a doubt, is the hardest thing I ever had to do. Clemenza, I'm running out of time. It's been oh. up and down and high and low. You should be able to nail a New York-style pizza. This is a joke. But I fought through it.
Dana Clemenza, congratulations. <laughs> I've been up for elimination more than anybody. And then I have to put up Clemenza. Clemenza. Clemenza, chef. People thought I was down, people thought I was out, and I just kept coming and coming and coming back. Everybody's trying to get rid of me. I still put out better food than everybody standing there. Clemenza, back in line. Oh. Get kicked out on an Italian night is embarrassing. But coming to Al's Kitchen has definitely put some spark back into me. I know I'm going to the top. Tonight, you were dropped into the deep end, big time. And it was a very important test for me to see who's going to sink, who's going to swim who can hold their own, who can crack under pressure, who can push the brigades. So I need to hear, why should you stay in Hell's Kitchen? Bobby. I haven't given up since I've gotten here, chef. I've learned, I've grown, and I still have my passion. I still have my inspiration and my motivation. I don't want to go home tonight. Justin. I drive every single day. I give 150%. The biggest thing I learned in this competition is leave my ego and know that I know how to lead a team. You show me that. It's not all about cooking. It's about leading. And I know I have what it takes to lead any kind of brigade there is. Dana. I've excelled in the challenges. I think I've outright won four or five of them. And I've been consistent this entire competition. I know tonight wasn't my best performance, but when I do make a mistake, I listen to what you say, I learn from it, and I don't make the same mistakes again. Thank you. Christina. The moment I walked through those doors on that first day, I had my mouth shut and had my eyes and ears open. As I progressed throughout this competition, I found my spot as a leader on my team. My standards are so much higher, and that's on account of you. This has been really hard for me. And the reason why I'm having such a hard time is that the next service in Hell's Kitchen is the final. Tonight, Two of you are going home. The first person leaving Hell's Kitchen is... Barbie. Listen, you've been amazing. The level of improvement has been extraordinary. You are a very gifted, smart, determined girl. So you take that. I will, Chef. And you run with it. Thank you. Please give me your jacket. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Chef. Bye, guys. See you, Bye, Barbie. Barbie. Good luck, Bobby. I really did want to win, but, you know, Hell's Kitchen is not easy. At the very beginning, everyone was trying to get rid of me. You want to get fucking choked out? You want to get fucking choked out, you dumb and cunt? Yeah, cunt! You ain't never jogged a day in your fucking life, and your ass shows it. Ooh, I want to hit you so bad, you nasty bitch. But I didn't let that stop me. Ladies, congratulations. Woo! I just put up three perfect scallops, and we won. It wasn't easy. Who cooked them? I did, Chef. You did? Yes, Chef. For the firefighters of this country. Get out! But I got a black jacket and got all the way to the top four. Tastes like Solariac. Well spotted, let's go. Okay, so I definitely feel like I proved some people wrong. I'm really proud of myself. I'm not gonna be bummed about it at all. I had a blast while I was here. When I look at the three of you, this is where it gets really hard, really difficult, because there's a fraction separating all three of you. And honestly, I could see all three of you in Hell's Kitchen Finals. But there can only be two. Holy shit. The first chef going through to the Hell's Kitchen final is. Christina. Congratulations. Oh, Congratulations, Chris. Oh, my God. Thanks, man. Thank you, chef. Oh, my God. Thank you. <laughs> Congratulations. Good job. Thank you. Great job. Oh, wow. Congratulations. <laughs> Justin and Dana. Yes, Chef. Both of you have had great accomplishments in this competition. But there's only one spot left. The second person going through to the final of Hell's Kitchen is... Justin, 
Congratulations. Chef. Well done. Well done, well done. Hello, everybody. Come on. Sorry, Dean. I'm sorry. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you, buddy. Come here, you. You hold that head up high. You have an extraordinary palate, but you're not ready right now yes, chef. to become the chef at Gordon Ramsay Steak in Vegas. Do me a big favor. Keep that jacket. Thank you, chef. OK? Thank you. Well done. Well done, well done, well done. I mean, really good job. Thank you. Great job, Dean. Good job, buddy. I love you so much. Good luck, Thank guys. You. Well done, Dana. Thank you, chef. Hell's Kitchen has been so much harder than I ever thought it was going to be. It's like canned soup. But I have to say that I think I did pretty well. I think I'm going to go with the meatballs. Yeah. Congratulations, yeah. Dana. Yeah. There you go, Dana. I have Michelin-starred chefs who have tasted my dishes. Uh, it was great. Everything on the dish works. And told me how amazing they are. And, you know, I can leave here and say I got to serve David Beckham. Dana Clemenza, congratulations. <laughs> These are all moments that are priceless, and I'm just going to take these away. And even though I'm leaving Hell's Kitchen, I'm leaving with my head held high. And I know one thing, and that's I'll never stop cooking. The chef whose door opens will become the winner of Hell's Kitchen and become the head chef at Gordon Ramsay Steak, Paris, Las Vegas, with a salary of a quarter of a million dollars. Christina and Justin, very carefully place your hand on top of the handle. Christina and Justin, are you ready? Yes, yes chef. chef. On the count of three, turn your handle. One. Two. Three. I can barely feel my body right now. It's so completely overwhelming. I'm trying to hold on to every second of it here. That's a great job. Great job. Great job. Thank you. The toughest thing I ever had in my life, honestly, was holding that door up and not having it open. But I know I gave everything I could possibly give. I have no regrets. Man, this is the most amazing experience of my life, even though I didn't win. Justin! I know, it's got to be tough. We work tough. I don't want to lose anybody, but obviously Christina's a great competitor. She's focused, and she's a great chef. You know, to be honest with you, if I lost to anybody else besides Christina, I would have probably walked out of here. But man, it would have been great to open that door. Well done. Well done, well done, well done, well done. Well done. I'm incredibly proud of myself and um, just thankful that I have left my mark here. Yay, Christina! I am excited to go out to Vegas and keep pushing that bar higher and higher until I, until I fucking touch the stars. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Hell's Kitchen winner, Christina! Yay! Incredible! Christina's passion and talent are undeniable. She's a strong leader who is totally at home in the kitchen. I know I'm not rolling the dice with her in Vegas because she is the real deal. 